guys, it's me and I am 36 weeks exactly today. I am so excited. I, I just, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. I have literally one week exactly from today until I'm full term. I actually had my 36 week checkup today for my OB. It'll be every week now um, until the baby comes that I will be going for my appointments. I had my GB test today for group B strep to make sure I don't have that infection, which is not intimidating at all. They just take a weird, like a long Q-tip and they stick it up there and wipe it around your butt. So, fun. But I didn't have the infection with either of my first two kids, so I doubt I'll have it this time around, but it's not that big of a deal if I do. Week 36 has been exhausting to say the least. I'm just getting bigger and bigger and more tired. I've noticed that the bigger that I get, the later I am to appointments and to things that I need to be at. <laughs> you know, it takes longer to get my shoes on. Since it's getting colder out, I have to wear like tennis shoes. Uh, it's getting longer to find clothes that fit me. It's getting longer just to walk out to the car and chase after my toddler, or, you know, stuff like that. So it's just like, oh good lord, like I'm gonna start being a half an hour late everywhere when I get, you know, towards the end of my due date. Uh, but yeah, it's just been, it's been, it's been a week. Um, let's see, I've had lots of pressure down there at my appointment. I asked my doctor to check me because I've been having so many contractions. I am dilated to one centimeter, which is awesome. Uh, she didn't have to really stick her fingers up there too far because baby's head is very, very low, uh, which she said is good. It means, you know, less pushing. So hopefully, who knows? But yeah, so I am one, di one centimeter dilated as of right now, and basically she said any day now. <laughs> Uh, it's exciting and also scary at the same time. My husband and I love to play that like, oh, she could come tomorrow, she could come the next day, what if she does this, what if we have a baby next week game, which is a lot of fun, but then in the end it's like, holy crap, like what if she comes tomorrow, you know? So we're just kind of like trying not to freak out too much and just really trying to just take deep breaths and, um, you know, just enjoy these last few weeks. Uh, let's see, I've had swelling in my shins. It's weird, if I sit too long or if I cross my legs, I don't know if you've ever experienced shin splints before. I used to eat them all the time when I was um, cross training from softball and soccer because it's just like too much running and on asphalt and on concrete and on hard turfs, anyways. But that's what it feels like. It feels like I have shin splints if I sit too long. It's like just the collection of blood that gets in my shins. It's really painful actually. So I try not to sit for too long um, a period of times. Um, I'm super tired. I already mentioned that. I'm just, you know, not getting any sleep because I'm literally peeing 10 times a night and it's just, it's an uphill battle because if I don't drink water then my, I wake up and my urine's really dark and I have like, you know, I, it, I'm dehydrated and my lips get chapped and I have tons of contractions but if I do drink water then I'm up all night peeing so it's like ah I am having such bad heartburn that this is gonna be really gross that I'm like partially vomiting sometimes in my mouth like it comes up and then it goes back down like not chunks like oh, gross uh, but you know like liquid like I'll burp up something and it's just like it's disgusting and I have never ever had heartburn in my life other than when I've been pregnant and I just I feel so bad for people who suffer from it all the time because it just oh my gosh it's horrible um, so Tums I've been doing Tums for that I've been feeling lots and lots of stronger movements my husband has been feeling them and he's just like wow that's like a baby in there and it's funny because it's like well yeah I felt this this whole time but you know for him he can actually see her foot like her actual foot, you know, going around my belly or, you know, feel her or like touch her and it's just like, it's really great, you know, it's fun, but it's painful. <laughs> um, I've been having migraines last week. I actually, uh, last sat this past Saturday, right before we left for our cyclocross event, which I have a video up of, I started getting, you know, this halo effect thing. I get seasonal migraines. They're really bad. I'm out for like a whole day vomiting um, in bed. I have to be by myself in the dark all day else. It just gets really bad. I think the longest I was out with one was like three days. It was pretty painful. Um, but I do get them in the fall and then I get them in the spring when it goes winter to spring. So it's just two a year usually. This one was really... Not so bad. I actually, what I did was I knew that it was coming because I started feeling really hot. I started seeing halos. I started feeling really faint and dizzy. Um, I was writing thank you notes and all of a sudden my vision became blurred and so I immediately knew what was happening and my head started hurting. Like it felt like it started swelling. 
So I took half of Vicodin because I was also having horrible back pain. Um, and then I drank tons and tons of water and I just laid down for a little bit. Luckily, I think that offset it because I didn't, it didn't go any further than that, but I have still been having like mini migraines. So I'm wondering if I'm just keeping it at bay, who knows? Um, but yeah, so that is that. I think that's it in terms of my symptoms. I really haven't had that many new ones other than just being really tired. I have been having these terrible dreams though that like the baby's gonna come out, a boy, <laughs> which isn't terrible because we'd love to have a boy, but at the same time it's like we we're looking forward to having a girl and everything that we have is for a girl, so that's been a weird dream that I've been, it's been really reoccurring actually. Um, also, I've been having these like worries about how I'm gonna actually record things because our Canon battery is just like doesn't, when it shoots in HD, it just, you know, it's not very long. So I'm gonna have to keep recharging and I'm afraid I'm gonna miss something and I really wanna be able to share this whole thing with you guys. So that's been a concern of mine too. I did today sign my tubal consent form, which means that if I were to have a C-section for any reason, they're already in there, that means that they can go on in and um, cut things off if they're already in there. I don't think I'll be getting a C-section. The tubal would only be if I had a C-section. If not, I would not go back in for surgery even though right now it would be covered by my insurance because we've met our deductible after this. But for us, it's just like, it's such an invasive procedure that if they're not already in there, we don't really want them in there. So my husband is gonna get a bisectomy before the end of the year. Um, I know I left a post about this on my blog. It's I've been really sad and cranky and moody and just really down for the past few weeks and I've been sharing that with a lot of you guys if you follow me on Facebook or on my blog um, and I really apologize I don't mean to bring people down but that you know for me I for a long time had to figure out why I was feeling so sad and I came to the conclusion that it's because I'm really scared I have I have at the most three weeks and three days until my induction. So the baby will be here and everything will be done in less than four weeks. And for me, that is a very scary thing because right now, I feel like I'm so a part of like a special community of women who are pregnant or trying to get pregnant or, you know, this TTC community that I started out in, in you know, ten, nine, ten months ago. And it scares me for all of it to end, kind of. Um, I'm going to start crying. I've just been, I've been so lonely most of my adolescence and adult life, you know, I've just been so lonely and I've never really had true friends, I've never really had a connection to anybody, I've never had anything in common with anybody because I've either been the teenage mom by myself or the single mom or, you know, dealing with my past child abuse or dealing with all these other types of emotions really felt, made me feel like I wasn't close to anybody and it's just so just so surreal to be so close to so many of you and to have your support all the time and I'm just it's really hard to say goodbye to that or to possibly have to say goodbye to that you know and it's also hard because I'm 26 years old and well I will be 26 this month at the on the 22nd and it's hard to say goodbye to having babies you know, I'm, I'm done. I know I'm done. I don't want anymore. I really, really don't want anymore, which I know for a lot of you is hard to understand because some of you can't have kids and I really feel for you. But for me, my personal choice and the way that I really feel mentally and emotionally is that I'm done. I physically, I can't hand, I can't handle another pregnancy. I'm done. You know, I want to move on to the next stage of my life. But at the same time, I'm 25 years old right now and I'm done having babies, you know? And everyone around me is just now starting and it just makes me feel even more alone, like... A, I feel too young to be saying that I'm done, but I was too young to, when I started to begin with eight years ago. And another thing is that it's just like now that everybody else around me is starting, it's going to be really hard not to feel again like I'm not relatable to my age group, you know, because they're all starting to have babies and I'm saying goodbye, you know. So, I don't know if any of that makes sense. I'm probably not coming off the right way, but I you can read the blog post. It's long and lengthy, but... 
it's just been hard and I had a long conversation with my husband trying to make him understand and I think he does now. It's hard for him because he's 37, you know, he's, he's happy with being done. He doesn't understand my physical, you know, a woman's physical want to have children. She may not want to necessarily mentally or should be having them, but the physical urge is there nonetheless. Even if you can't have babies, you feel this urge, you know. So for me, it's just, it's so hard actually closing this door, you know, permanently or even just semi-permanently. Like, it's just, it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I'm just scared. I don't know what is in store for my future. I, you know, having this last baby means also that I'm sooner or later going to have to find a career and do something, <laughs> which I have no clue what I want to do or be, but I know I need to find something. And it's just, I don't know. I've just had a lot of emotions these past two weeks and it's just really brought me down. But it is October and my birthday is in two, three weeks, three weeks, and the baby is coming in three weeks regardless. And I'm going to try to make the most out of this month because it is my last baby and I... Remember being happy during the end of it, you know. So, I'm gonna make the most of the last three weeks, and I'm so thankful to all of you guys, all of you guys, just for all of your supportive words and just being there for me. Even if I don't talk to you on a daily basis or I don't get back your emails, I always read them and it just means so much to me. You know, I think about you guys all the time. You know, just the little things and it's just, I've never felt so a part of something in my life and it just feels really nice. So thank you so much. Yeah, so it's been it's been a hard few weeks. So I'm I'm trying to turn things around. I'm gonna be happy, you know, I'm gonna be very happy. I'm gonna take these last few moments that I have with her and me and I am I am going to make the best of them. So that is week thirty six for you. I think that's it. Sorry, I'm just oh my god, I feel I'm so embarrassed. Okay. Anyways, um <laughs> Anyways, so that is my week 36 for you. Sorry I'm so up and down. My goodness, I just, whew. Um, I want to, sorry, I'm, I don't even know what I was saying. Um, I wanted to say a quick thank you again to all of you, again, 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 again. Um, but I especially wanted to say thank you to Kim. Uh, she's somebody who contacted me months ago, and I've just been... You know, we follow each other on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. And uh, her husband is a wit, you know, in the military, and she's just a really sweet girl. Um, and she was so kind and sent the baby some gifts. And I'd just like to say thank you so much. I thought I'd show you them because, not because I'm like, oh, look at everything that I've got, but just because I, you know, if I send something to somebody, it's nice to see the appreciation and. Um, I just want you to know that I love them. So, um, she sent some outfits, which I love her to death because I was I was really a little freaked out because all of the clothes that I have are from newborns, and I mentioned that in one of my videos. And so she sent me everything but newborn stuff. So she sent me this really cute outfit, which is funny because I came across this at J.C. Penney the other day, and I really wanted it, but I didn't get it. So it was pretty amazing to find it in the package, but it's just a cute little six month outfit. Um, she also sent bibs, seasonal bibs, which I love because I've never ever felt like I could justify buying seasonal bibs for my kids because, you know, I was a teen mom, so I didn't have a lot of money, so to buy seasonal bibs that they would only wear for a month, you know, seemed silly to me and I couldn't afford them. And then with my son, it was just like he was not in the right age for them when the holidays hit. So it's really cool that this time around I'll have these seasonal bibs. So thank you for Christmas and Thanksgiving. 
She also sent um, this cute little ballerina with little footies uh, sleeper, which I thought was just super cute. Um, and this outfit is just adorable. Oh my goodness. She's going to look so cute in the spring in this. Um, and then this little princess. Uh, outfit with a little bow at the butt that'll fit her around Christmas, so thank you. Um, the last thing she sent me, which is my favorite out of all of the things, is this jacket, which I don't know if you can see because the lighting's so bad, but it's like this really cute burnt orange pumpkin -y color with little flowers embroidered in the bottom and like little ruffles. But I wish you could feel this. It's so soft and it'll fit her next year for next fall. And I just, my babies, at least Wyatt, because he has breastfed, he loved the boob. He was so chubby and round face that this, I just, oh my gosh, I can't wait to put her in this. I love it. So thank you so much, Kim. I love all of these things. You really didn't need to go to all this trouble, but it is, it means a lot to me. And I just thank you so much. Um, I just really appreciate it. So hugs to you. I hope someday we can meet in person. I hope I can return the favor in the future when you start having your babies. But thank you. I love them. Um, the last thing that I did this week was we went to the store and we finally bought some socks. <laughs> I got two packs of these. They're just regular newborn. I know okie dokie socks don't really stay on newborn's feet that well. The ones that I wanted they were sold out of that stayed on Wyatt's feet really well. So I just really felt like I needed these for her hospital bag. Um, so we just bought you know these because whatever. Um, but yeah, so we have socks now. My di my hospital bag is all set and packed. I will have a video on that next week after my 37th uh, update, and I will show you all that. Um, and yeah. Oh, and then this. Uh, everyone's been asking me um, what I'm dressing the baby up for for Halloween, because technically she will be here before Halloween. We, I don't know, it's hard to find newborn baby costumes, and not only that, but it's like to justify spending like $20, $30 on a newborn outfit is hard, especially when I'll probably be carrying her in my Moby wrap or my ring sling, so nobody will see her really anyways when we trick or treat. But what we decided on getting was this, it says, Daddy is under my spell, it's a onesie, and then it came with these really cute leggings with this little frilly skirt around it, so... That is what she will wear. I kind of want to get like an orange or black flower bow to match for her hair, like one of those headband things. But like, this sounds really stupid, but other than like ordering them online, where do you find those? Like I haven't been, like the ones that are like handmade, like I don't know how to, I don't know. I haven't come across any, but I kind of want to get one of those and then maybe some like black little shoes or some black socks or something to match. But that will be her Halloween outfit, so I figure... I don't know, it's really cute. I had to wash it and there's a little bit of a stain on it already because my son, who I think is totally understanding that there's a baby coming, he's totally regressing. He took this, knew it was for his sister, he said, for baby, and then wiped it, his chocolate mouth all over it. So I tried getting the stain out, but there's a little bit of a mark, but oh well, it's white. I should have known better, but my son is definitely regressing. He uh, does not want to share his toys. He thinks that the baby stuff should be his and it's just going to be an exciting week after she comes home. But yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to share with you guys. Again, I will have my hospital bag uh, video up next week. I will be announcing my personal giveaway next week as well. Um, I'm going to try to do some daily vlogs. I apologize. I promised last month or the month before that after Veda that I would do one every day of October. but. It's been an emotional roller coaster that I wasn't expecting, um, and I've been really tired, and my mom's had my good camera, so I will try to do some daily vlogs. I can't promise they'll be every day, but I will definitely keep my blog updated, and if you want to follow my labor and delivery, I will be updating my Facebook and my Instagram. Not sure about Twitter, because I just don't know how to work that very well, but definitely my Facebook, my Instagram, and my blog will be updated, so... Yeah, um, if you don't hear from me for a few hours on Facebook, it's because I've probably gone into labor. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, we're just really excited. And I just, I want to offer you all a big hug. <laughs> like, I just, I hope someday in the near future we can all meet up, or some of us can meet up, or I can slowly make my way around the country meeting all of you, because you've all really just been a, a huge, huge, huge support system for me. And even though this is my third child, this has been the only pregnancy that I've really felt like I've had really close friends. And that's not to insult my close friends that I do have in real life, because I know some of you do watch. But, you know, 
you guys don't have kids or I didn't know you then or you know there's some reason but I was very alone during my first two pregnancies and if you go back to my very first video which I've done once last week which I felt so stupid because I, I just you know I was such a dork back then but back in February when I recorded my first ever vlog I said that I really wanted to not be alone this pregnancy because I was so alone during my first two and I definitely accomplished that. So if anything else, if I can't take you guys with me because you all have your own lives and I understand that, if this is the last month that I get to be with you guys, I just want to tell you that I really appreciate everything that you've done for me, everything that you continue to do for me and I really hope that we stay friends, like I really truly mean that. So. I'm going to start crying again, so I'm going to go. <laughs> um, I'll talk to you all sometime later this week or next week. But bye. Love you all. So I forgot to show you my belly. Apparently I was too uh, preoccupied with being a sad sap and crying. <laughs> so sorry, ignore my room. It's really messy right now because I've been trying to stay on top of getting laundry done. So there's laundry baskets behind me. But... This is my right side, my front, which the lighting is horrible in here because it's like rainy right now, so sorry about that. And my left, I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, you'll be able to see it in my 35 or 36 week pictures that I will post. But yeah, I'm running out of clothes to wear, <laughs> so this baby needs to come out before I end up having to walk around. Um, naked. <laughs> but there she is. So yeah, sorry about that. Bye.